Hi students, welcome. In this video, we will study about external work done during evaporation. Students, see here, this is a container and in this container, there is a water and here, this is a piston. Okay? Piston. Okay? And now, this water that is saturated water is at 100 degrees celsius and it is ready to vaporize and it is at one atmospheric pressure and its specific volume is given as here vf vf stands for here specific volume of moisture or we can say water okay now this is our first case okay that is saturated water ready to vaporize or uh, now here our second case is that is b here saturated vapor after complete vaporization okay this this here this is also at saturation temperature that is 100 degree celsius and atmospheric pressure p atmosphere okay here this saturated water is ready to vaporize and here saturated vapor after complete vaporization okay so no so here see first our piston was here and now after complete vaporization our piston is here and this is here the specific volume is vg that is the specific volume of dry and saturated steam okay here dry and saturated steam here see this specific volume is increased that is vg here in this case the specific volume is increased from vf to vg okay so here vg is greater than vf vg is greater than vf so here due to increased in specific volume this piston moved from this position to this position this one okay so here now seem we got here the difference that is here v f g which is specific volume change of steam during evaporation which is equal to v g minus v f so understand here specific volume change of steam during evaporation is equal to specific volume of dry and saturated steam minus specific volume of moisture or water okay so now see here in this case the phase transformation of saturated water to saturated steam that is from this condition to this condition that is from saturated water to saturated steam takes place at constant pressure okay and here during this volume is increased from vf to vg as we have seen that is from specific volume of moisture to specific volume of dry and saturated steam okay and here seam the external work is done by steam due to increased in specific volume as we have seen here due to increased in specific volume piston room from move from this position to this position so here work is done by steam okay on the piston so here this work produced is called the external work done during evaporation and it is given by the for nomenclature small w e x which is equal to here seeing p into bracket v g minus v f which is again equal to p into uh, into v f g and it is measured in kilojoule per kg okay as we have seen previously the how we got here v f g okay now see since vf is less than vg at low pressure it is neglected in this equation so we got here here now for dry and saturated steam wex is approximately equal to pvg kilojoule per kg okay now further here for wet steam with dryness fraction x 
the here now external work done is gi is given by the small w weight is approximately equal to p into bracket x v g and it is measured in kilojoule per kg so students in this video we have understood about the external work done during evaporation thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you